The CSRA and the surrounding areas have so much to offer, but you may only know a tiny bit about those events and places. That's why we're bringing you our mix on the move. That's right, and our mix contributor Chris Lloyd got behind the wheel to take us to a very unique gathering, the Georgia Renaissance Fair. Well, hey guys, it's Chris Lloyd for Mix on the Move, and we're out here in beautiful Fairburn, Georgia, heading to the Georgia Renaissance Fair, uh, which is operating its 39th year. Uh, it's right on the outskirts of Atlanta, and it's gonna be a lot of fun, so let's check it out. If you've never heard of a Renaissance Fair, here's a quick history lesson for you. They've been around for over 50 years, starting way back in 1963 with a married couple Ron and Phyllis Patterson. Phyllis was a school teacher who originally began holding Renaissance reenactments after school for her students as a sort of interactive history museum. But the potential was there to do so much more with the concept. So, in the summer of 1963, Ron and Phyllis worked with a local radio station to hold the very first Renaissance Fair, a two-day event of fun, costumes, and period-accurate merriment. The fair took hold of the U.S., with many other versions popping up in different states year after year. Now, you don't have to dress up to enjoy the Ren Fair, but it does greatly enhance the experience, so let's go ahead and get into costume. Well, they say blondes have more fun. I guess we'll see if that's true. The first thing you'll notice about the Georgia Ren Fair is just how large the village of Newcastle is. Just take a look at this map. It's huge. You're definitely going to get your steps in here. The other thing you might notice is in a lot of ways it's very similar to your average state fair. You've got rides, haunted houses, delicious food made by dragons, and lots and lots of shows. Like Zoltan, the world's most adequate magician. <laughs> There's something for everyone here, and enough that you'll have to come back several times to see it all. For Wes Carter, the official photographer of the Georgia Ren Fair, there's enough to keep him coming back for almost 10 years now. It's such an eclectic group. Uh, even though they call it the Renaissance Festival, they come dressed in any comfort level they have, and uh, they love getting their pictures taken. On average, how many people do you think you see in, in one weekend at the festival here? It ranges between seven and 9,000 per day. I take, during a season of the eight weekends, uh, about 40,000 pictures. There's a good reason to come back each weekend, too, because each weekend has a different theme. The weekend I went was Pet Weekend, so lots of four-legged friends were there. Dogs and cats not your thing? Well, why not come back for Viking Weekend or Pirate Weekend? Not only there are a lot of shows and a lot of things to do, a lot of carnival games to play, but there's also a lot of shops selling local handmade goods. We have dedicated crafters that a couple of them spend, like that's their full-time job back home. They might not even be on circuit, but they make stuff for us full-time and then ship it out to us. Um, for the most part, we can tell you by name who made what item and like what materials it's made of and all this and that. And hey, you know, if shopping's not your thing either, Sometimes it's nice to just sit back and people watch. I'm bored. I want to see somebody hit something. I'm going to be real with you guys. The joust just awakens something in me. You're not you when you're at the joust. It just fulfills some deep primal urge to see people on horses whack each other with sticks. Well, you know, the thing about Georgia is that it's so small, you can't go anywhere without running into somebody that you know. Hello! Uh, 
Uh, also from the mix, Shay yes. is here at the Georgia Ren Fair as well. So Shay, mm -hmm. how are you liking things? So this is my first time here and I am actually surprised at how big it is. Lots of fairies and lots of merriment. So I'm excited. I'm really excited for the food. Yeah, so. it's 32 acres and they use pretty much every last acre yes. to their advantage. Yes. Uh, I think this is my second time being here and it's mm -hmm. like every time I go, there's something new I see. It's, there's it's something pretty new. crazy. And pretty accurate. You've got the, the barkers, you know, come wrestle me and things like that. So I don't know. Well, yeah, have you wrestled anybody yet? <laughs> I have. Let's see how I end up by the end of the day. <laughs> Uh, why should someone, like the average person, come do this? Yeah, there's a lot of people who are like in everyday clothing, so you don't have to do all this. You can honestly just wear something comfortable. I think that it's fun to experience like what medieval times could be, but in an area where you can like play around and walk around. Like I said, good food, and everybody's really friendly. I've gotten oh, yeah. a lot of compliments, I got a lot of really nice people, and you can buy some really cool stuff. Yeah, so. everybody here is like super super down to earth super nice it's just a lot of fun to get to mingle and like hang out like you said in like the medieval times yes. you know <laughs> so a lot of cool stuff to do i'm gonna let you go hang out enjoy the rent for some more Yay. Oh, all right. Well, that was a lot of fun. Uh, if you are interested in the Ren Fair, go to garenfest.com. It is open until June 2nd, 2024, uh, from 10:30 a.m. till 6 o'clock. Definitely come check it out. I'm gonna send things back to you guys. All right. Thank you, Chris. Good job, Chris. So cool. And I have to agree with you. Blunts have more fun. Okay? I think I like it better as a brunette. <laughs> uh, some of the other points that Chris uh, wanted to give us as well. Uh, if you go to the rent fair, definitely bring cash. Uh, most yes. booths will not accept credit cards. Okay. All right. Um, bring an appetite. Oh, I mean, come on. Do you see the, tur the turkey legs out there? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, and arrive early to get there for the introductory ceremony. You don't want to miss that. Also, mm -hmm. uh, you want to get a good parking spot, too. Oh, so yeah. Be sure that sure. you get out there soon enough for that. Make sure okay. to check that out. Yeah.